Well, hello. Thanks for clicking on the video. I am Nate, and let me just tell you, a welcome to the Paladin. This is a stupendous, exceptional, and I'm at a loss for words. I'll just say, one of my all-time favorites. Yes, it is a triple wide. This one is, like I said, one of my all-time favorites. I love the layout of this home. All right, so this home, the Paladin, comes in at 2,700 square feet. Yes, it is super big. And I have seen in the past, there's a great big porch that you can put it here. Of course, it doesn't come with the porch, but you can put a really big porch off the front of this home. This window and that window surround your sink. Yes, your sink is in the center of the, or in that corner there. You have two dining rooms, these windows being one of them. Whole bunch of windows over here, along with sliding glass doors coming off one of your dining rooms. Yes, you, like I said, two, two dining rooms. But of course the back of this isn't finished off. This is your utility room area. This is a modular. Now it's really tight back here, but uh, I'm gonna try to show you all these windows back here. Then we come to this side. And once again, that window right there, that's in your master bathroom. These are in your master bedroom. <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you, you got a fireplace, an office, extremely large utility room, so much storage. Like, <laughs> trust me, you got storage closets everywhere in this home. And check out your front end here. You got a little bit of recess here. Like I said, you can come off of here with that really big porch. Before we go in, don't forget to hit the like button. So there is your front door from the inside. It looks really good. And then off to the side over here is your office area that I was telling you about. So we've got two sliders. So as you can see, you can kind of close yourself off while you're working in the office, or you can leave it open so that you can uh, not be closed off from everybody and still do your work and associate with the family out there in the living room. Just kind of give you an idea of your, your office size here. Now we're going to go ahead and swing on around to your living room. Now we do have a beam right here. And I would say that you probably have to have that beam. I would say that's probably used for support. But outside of that, I mean, look at the size of your living room area. And I know that you can get a wood burning fireplace put in here, not just the gas. 
Really like the stonework they did here. Are we ready for this? Should I do the master bedroom first? Or should I go to the first dining room and then to the kitchen? Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Okay, we'll go this way. <laughs> of course, we got this little nook right here. And then we'll come around to that side of the hallway. Do you just wait? Here is your gigantic dining area. I mean, <laughs> that table is small in comparison to the whole dining room area. It even has a tray ceiling. Now those lights, they didn't have powered up yet. Otherwise, I would have them turned on. You do even have a center fan that you can put in there. And now from your dining room, and I love this table with the live edge on it both sides looks really good so i know i've teased you a little bit with the kitchen now we'll get that out of the way and oh yeah there's a surprise on the other side of that wall right there we'll start with your industrial size refrigerator I mean, I usually don't open refrigerators, but we got to take a look at this thing. She is huge. <laughs> Everything about this home is big. There's your sink with the Frigidaire appliances, stainless steel, of course. Would you expect anything else in here? And we've got the glass backsplash. Now that is a lot of windows around your sink. We've got a lot of cabinet in here. Of course, soft clothes. You wouldn't expect anything else out of a home like this. We've got the pull outs. Of course, I didn't do a very good job on that one, did I? <laughs> I really kind of dropped the ball on that one. Oh, there's all your fire alarms. And then for pots and pans. Now, does this one have pull outs too? It does. And on the back side, we've got how many drawers do you need? <laughs> In this one, I've already looked at this is your dish drawer that has the hardware and the Little standoffs to or to put the little standoffs in for your hardware. And the bottom one is just a standard pots and pans drawer. Now, if your microwave is over there, does that mean we have two ovens in here? It sure does. It even says upper lower <laughs> really nice now i've 
in the past filmed this one with a kitchen that has instead of these shelves here it's got shelves right here and then across the top whoops, as I hit the corner of the center island there so then across the top going kind of arched is a bunch of stonework up top there with your gas with your gas stove down below like that Now, I haven't really showed much of the island here. We've got our vegetable sink. And of course, here is your dining room. The other dining room. Morning room, I think, is what they call this one. But look at all the windows you have here. And just think of the porch you could put off the back of that and then your garage on the other side because that's where your utility room is. But we're not going in there just yet. Look, even more big pot and pan drawers. We got to open up this guy. Now the light doesn't work in here, but holy smokes. Look at the size of your pantry. Told you. There was a big surprise on the other side of that wall and room for a freezer right there. And we're gonna go through this door, which will lead into the utility room I'm not sure if I mentioned that this was three bedroom, two and a half bath, but it is. <laughs> We've got a half bath right here. Since we're here, hello Raiden. And there is your back door along with your electrical panel sink in your utility room and look at all the cabinet space in here of course there's where your washer and dryer is going to go and now let's just take in how big this room is And what might be behind these doors over here? How about your furnace? And this guy is your water heater. And going out this door comes into where all your bedrooms are going to be located. And you're saying, okay, bedroom over there, clearly that's a bathroom, that's a bedroom. What is this door? Well, I'm glad you asked. I told you, you have plenty of closet space in here. Because not only do you have that one, but you got this one over here too. So closet space is not lacking in this one. Guest bathroom with six drawers in here. Dual sinks. Dual vanity. On the back side, we've got our shower tub combo. And then we've got more linen storage. Our toilet with the pocket door. Now they've got it locked in place so I can't close it, but yes, rest assured there's a pocket door there. 
and into bedroom number one. This one's got all the trim supplies and extra supplies, things like that. So we're not going to be able to do much moving around in here. So I'll just kind of pan around a little bit. And I'm going to have to be quick. <laughs> Because we still have the master bedroom to go through. <laughs> and they even went with a pocket door in this closet. With the dual shelves. All right, we got to hurry. So in our master bedroom, look at all the windows in here. Now, if you're wondering how much insulation you have in this home, look how thick these walls are. Really large master bedroom. I mean, now that's a queen size bed, okay? And it doesn't even fill the space between the windows. Now to continue on with the flow of the home, we're gonna start in the closet and we're gonna come out over there. Yeah, you heard me right. We're going to start here and come out over there. So here is your closet with dual racks on this side, single racks on this side. And then we've got shoe rack number one, shoe rack number two, And if that's not enough storage space for you, what do we got here? <laughs> How about some hidden storage? Now, that looks like gun storage to me. Perfect place for it. Nobody's going to think to look behind your shoes for your guns, right? What about this guy? Yeah. <laughs> We've got two hidden gun storages or whatever else you choose to put in there and we've got more racks over here now this could kind of be like a makeup counter area whatever else you choose to put here probably end up having to put a mirror right there but you do have a light above you and we're gonna push through these doors And I can see that they made an improvement here because this door used to open up and it would hit the toilet. So they've definitely widened it up a little bit. I know it still comes close, but not quite. <laughs> and then we're going to come out this way. We're going to take a look at our jetted tub. Look at the size of that tub. And that is, it's monstrous and jetted. Got all the windows above your tub. And then our tile shower. We've got the Pulse brand um, shower head and wand.
And now, check out your sink area. We've got three drawers over here, lots of cabinets down below. I mean, you're surrounded by mirrors. So you could stand right here, let's see, you get a facial, you get a side view, you get the other side. And then our linen storage. And I am definitely gonna have to try to cut this one down. <laughs> All right, so what did you think? Hopefully it wasn't too long for you, but I do hope you'll go down and leave me a long comment in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, share this video. I know y'all want know somebody that's going to want to see this. And uh, I will be back with some price information. So what did y'all think of the Paladin? That was a really nice home. We got to get into some price information, but first... Before we get price information going on this one, I got a big announcement for you. I've been teasing it a little bit. You know, I've been doing this for two and a half years. Obviously still working at O'Reilly Auto Parts. So, you know, it's time for a change. Change for the better. For the, for the channel, I should say. So, and I'm going to ask a favor from you guys here. But uh, first off, July 22nd. So a little over, a little less than two months. A little over two months something like that, is going to be my last day at O'Reilly. So I will be doing YouTube full time from that point on. So my favor for you guys, yes you, if you've made it this far, please click on an extra video or two while, during the week. Watch an extra video or two just kind of helps me out quite a bit. It'll also help the channel grow. The more views, the more YouTube promotes it, that kind of stuff. So anyway, with that said, so the Paladin. It is a 2,600 square foot home. It is three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. Yeah, I know, right? You don't even get two and a half bathrooms in most of your four bedrooms, right? So anyway, so this one is, uh, like I said, extra large. This is made by Schultz Homes, which once again, there's a division of Clayton Homes. This is their upper end, of course. So keep that in mind when I give you the price on this one. So... Without further ado, this is at Majestic Homes. This was filmed in May of 2023. And uh, this one, you know, with extra, this modular, so you got extra crane, you know, foundation, that kind of stuff, all goes into play into this one. So we're looking at a starting price of $300,000 for this one. Yes, I know, <laughs> a little on the high side, but I mean, look at all the hidden stuff you get. Look at all the quality you get. I mean, yeah, what can you ask for? This one has always been one of my favorites from the time I started filming. So with that said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, click on another video that should be right there and one right there. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.